Hi, welcome to a new episode of my show. Um, again, I have no name for the show. Usually I shoot these episodes with uh, log or flat profiles and I just correct them. And last week I got a comment on one of my videos from Pascal saying that uh, uh, I should be using a color chart. And it's much better now. So, uh, now that we just corrected our footage using a color chart, as Pascal recommended, let's start. Uh, so today we're going to be discussing uh, creating a beam of light on your on your footage. Let's take a look at this image. This image looks good. I'm, I actually used this image in one of my courses. So um, the, the, the image looks nice now. There's nothing wrong with the image. However, if I go, if I hit Shift and D, this is the original image. The image does not have the uh, beams of light here in the background. I added the lights because I thought that the uh, background looked really dull in the image and I just needed just to add something there. So again, let's take a look at it before and after. So now let's recreate this. I'm going to go to color, add version. This is a new version added and I'm going to go to color, reset all grades and nodes. And this is my original image. So first I'm going to correct the image. I'm simply going to increase gamma. And I, I want to bring the, the shadows down like, but I don't want to bring the midtones with them. And I don't want to bring a large portion of the shadows. I just want the extreme shadows to go down without affecting the rest of the image. So instead of bringing the shadows down in, in primaries through lift, I'm just going to come to log and I'm going to pull shadows down and log. So log, bring the shadows down and with log, I can bring the shadows down without affecting the midtones. And what makes this better is I can simply come to the low range here and I can simply drag it to the left or right. So essentially redefining what the effect sees as shadows. So if I pull it uh, all the way to the right, most of the image is being perceived as shadows by the effect. And if I pull it to the left, now nothing is being perceived as shadows. So I'm simply going to come to maybe this point here. Yeah. Just bring the shadows down a bit and I'm going to increase the saturation. It was a very simple grade. I'm going to add a new node and reduce the saturation and shadows. Okay, so this is starting to look as a good image. So now I'm going to add a new node and in the node, I'm going to add a window and I'm going to feather the window and I'm going to increase the feather in the window and add it in the background as if it's a light coming from top, uh, from the ceiling hitting the wall here. So Okay, and then I'm going to increase the exposure here, you know, to simulate that this is light hitting the wall. So I don't want to increase saturation while I still have the visual representation of the window here. So I'm simply going to come to the drop down menu here and choose off. And now I can't see the window uh, representation. I'm just going to come back to uh, primary wheels and simply bring gain up. Yeah, much better. So now we have a beam of light. However, it's the wrong color now because uh, their skin tones are, is really reddish and uh, the beam is just the wrong color. So I'm simply going to come to gain here and pull gain and a bit of gamma towards, uh, towards orange. And I have the first beam of light. Now I, I need to change its position. So I'm just gonna come to the drop down menu here, choose power windows and just maybe bring it this way. Yeah, much better. So now I need to add more than one window. So I'm, if, if I simply add it in a new node, I'm just going to have to repeat all the adjustments again. Now I know that I'm going to be performing the same adjustments or the same color to the three windows I'm going to be adding. So I'm just going to add the new window in the same node. So I'm in the same node here. I'm simply going to click on the circle icon and just reposition the new window. And the third window.
Yeah, let's turn off the representation here and we have our windows created. So this is the before and this is the after. However, I still feel that the windows aren't really blending uh, into the frame because of the difference in lighting like if you look at his shirt here it's very clear that these lights are not affecting his shirt so i'm simply going to add a new node and now i'm going to add an overall gray to the entire image so i'm simply going to come to gain here maybe pull it in this direction lift maybe in this direction gamma a bit yeah much better let me increase the uh, gain a bit on the windows here so i'm back to the node with the windows and i'm going to come to gain and increase gain and maybe i can also increase saturation a bit yeah much better so this is the original image and this is the new image now you see how easy it was to uh, add these to, to the background and if the image was moving anyway I can always track the windows and they will just track perfectly so yeah you can always add certain elements to your, to your footage now let's take a look at this image for example um, uh, frankly usually when I work on one of the images like when I worked in this one I was ready I pre-prepared the whole thing and I I just repeated the whole thing now this image frankly I didn't try to create uh, a window on it before so let's try um, let's take a look at the image now now the, there's a window on the right and the light is coming from the right side here and this is the window so let me very simply add a new node and I'm going to uh, draw a shape here so this shape is going to be coming through the window all the way here hitting them and I'm just going to try to exclude this part here and yep so when you create a shape this way you don't have any feathering so I'm just simply going to come to softness and increase it increase the inside softness and the outside softness okay let's see if this will work uh, maybe I just need to move this a bit here okay and now I'm going to add an outside node so I can reduce the exposure on the rest of the image so I'm just going to come to color no to nodes and add an outside node so now I just added an outside window and I'm going to and I'm going to reduce the exposure on the outside window. So I'm going to come to gamma and reduce gamma. It looks more like a vignette, frankly. It doesn't look like uh, a window. So um, light coming from the window. So let me just try to change the shape. And maybe maybe I should just uh, cut the shape from this side so it, it wouldn't be hitting them from this side because if, if light comes here it shouldn't be hitting uh, his hand from this uh, angle here. So yep. So let's come back here and reduce the exposure, reduce the saturation. I'm working on the outside node and you know it's okay. it looks actually it looks good. So I'm simply going to come here and uh, let's hide the window representation on this node by going to off and I'm going to change its color a bit just slightly and increase the exposure. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad frankly and uh, it just needs to be a bit feathered more from this side. Okay, so maybe Let's go up from this side a bit and increase the feathering. Yeah. So let's come back here. And I'm going to add a new node, frankly, to, to just reduce the saturation and shadows because it's really saturated now. And I'm going to add a new node. And, and in the same node, actually, there's no need to add a new node. I'm just going to come to primary wheels and stylize the image a bit. And maybe. Yeah, you can see the effect here from the top. So um, let's just reduce saturation here first. And I'm going to come to this node, you know, the node with the, um, with the window. And yeah, actually it looks good. It's, uh, no, it doesn't look good. There's a difference in color here and, and, and the shadows. Uh, I think I need to come here and just yeah I, I i reset the the gain adjustments i did on the on the node itself and uh let's just come to and in, in, the, in the final node here i'm just going to come to midtones and and yep yep it looks like there's a beam of light coming from the right side now this is the original image and this is the new image okay frankly i didn't rehearse the last one so it's not the best example but uh, it works so, thank you. If you like this, please visit uh, learncolorgrading.com, filmsimplified.com.
and maybe subscribe, share, you know, just help in any way. Thank you.